Welcome to the University of Iowa podcast. This is a video of a lumbar puncture with some instruction performed by one of our residents, Dean Anderson, and one of our medical students, Carl Asbury. Right there. Now grab this. Mm -hmm. Now put that in there and draw up. Okay. And you can actually kind of, you can see it, you'll, you'll have to kind of tip it. There's a meniscus of the fluid that makes it so that it doesn't really pour out. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. The first step in this procedure is to open the tray. Um, you need to add some betadine uh, to the well. Uh, and then you're going to get out the lidocaine, uh, which is uh, supplied in the kit. Um, and you may need to have some supplemental lidocaine as well. Um, the kit only comes with about 1.5 oh. cc. I'll just take that real quick. Next, we're going to go ahead and clean our procedure site with some betadine. Start working mm -hmm. in and out or mm -hmm. circular. When we place the lidocaine, we're going to start with superficial uh, skin and then go into deeper structures. Raise a wheel. And then how much? Just enough to make a little oh, okay. bulge. Good. Now take it out and go through the outside skin. Take it out. Okay. Go straight into the, into the back. Through the area where you've numbed up. That? Perfect. Yeah, exactly. And, and how far? All the way in. All the way. Mm -hmm. There you go. Just make sure you're not in a vessel. And, yep. then, and then you want to spread it all around. Move the needle while I'm doing it? When you move the needle, bring it out almost oh. all the way. Then change direction. Then go in again. Okay. Perfect. Yep, perfect. Then check some more. So just, there's a little hole right there, so the thing you do is you just, yeah, and then you and you make it so that you're going to be able to easily grab it. Yeah, just unloose it. Yeah, perfect. Are you going to hold the tubes for me? Mm-hmm. Okay, you take your spinal number. Next, we're going to assemble the manometer. Each kit comes with a manometer in three pieces, a glass tube, an extension for that glass tube, and a three-way stopcock. Uh, seen here, Dr. Anderson is assembling uh, the manometer. Efforts together, the manometer is placed against the needle hub when fluid is obtained. Uh, the fluid then is driven into the tube and up the chamber. Uh, giving the uh, reading of the centimeters of, of water of pressure uh, in the CSF. It has high pressure, so the things that can... Okay, very good. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, yep, yep. Okay. I'm take the cab off. Okay, so palpating for the right spot. Go between the spines processes. Not Round sure. L3 or 4. Mm -hmm. Okay, yep. And bevel up. Make sure in midline that's the only, that's the most important thing. The needle is inserted between the spines processes. This usually results in an angle that's slightly toward the head. You basically want to aim for the umbilicus on the other side. You will pass through skin, then dermal tissues, then muscle or tendons, and finally um, feel a pop as you enter the subarachnoid space. Good.